Welcome to our cervical range of motion routine. My name is Dr. Jordan Fairley here at The Source Chiropractic, and this is something we recommend for all of our clients to really get some more range of motion and flexibility within all the different joints of your neck. So anytime you feel achy or stiff or like things are pinched and not moving appropriately, you can do this, and I invite you to get up and follow along with me. First and foremost, we wanna focus on how you are breathing and where your shoulders are positioned. So I want you to think about breathing into your belly and then finishing that breath into the top of your chest. So take a big breath in and then let that extend all the way up into your collarbone. So like your collarbones are coming up and your shoulders are going down. So big breath in and then collarbone rises up there. That will position our shoulders back and down nicely and give us a ton of space for your neck. So holding that position, now we're going to go into shoulder rotation. So getting our shoulders nice and warmed up so that it allows some of that de-stressing of the muscles that go up into your neck. So this is going all the way up and then back and down, getting the shoulder blades to move over your rib cage, getting all 17 of those muscles that attach to the shoulder blade to move and to break up any tight and tense spots. Now we're going to go into alternating shoulder rolls. So right ear to right shoulder, right left shoulder to left ear, coming back and down, getting all that motion side to side. Shoulder blade is moving over the ribs, but your spine is staying nice and straight. So it requires a lot of movement patterns of all of those joints and the muscles. Now that we have the shoulders nice and warmed up, the cervical range of motion, we can think of as doing yes, no, maybe, funky chicken, and then we're gonna stretch it out, okay? So follow along with me. Again, breath into the chest, shoulders back and down. You're gonna look all the way up to the ceiling, getting an extension in your neck, and then all the way back down, chin down to your chest. Get a nice stretch, looking all the way back up, getting a nice curve back in the neck. So if you lost that curve, this is really good for you. All the way back down into flexion. Good, we can do this a few times. Again, you can do this as many times as you want. It's just good to go through these ranges of motion. Now I want you to go look all the way up to the ceiling and then do rotations in extension. So we have that nice curve in the neck and then we're requiring all the different joints to fire and go glide along their normal plane lines. So you might feel some crunchiness side to side, that's okay. Make sure you, again, you're breathing into your chest and rotation down. We go head back to neutral, check back in, and then now we're going into the no. So we go chin over to the right shoulder, chin back to the left shoulder. Noticing the difference side to side, so if you feel more tense one side compared to the others, you might want to spend some more time stretching that one area out, or it could be a good indicator to see a chiropractor near you. And then we're going to go into the maybe. So we're going to go right ear to right shoulder, this is lateral flexion, then we're going to go left ear to left shoulder. And then the opposite way again, taking those big breaths into the chest, keeping your shoulders back and down, creating space, noticing differences side to side, getting this lateral flexion stretching on one side as we compress into the other, so all the different joints in your neck are moving. Perfect. Now we're gonna do my favorite part, the funky chicken. So you're gonna go chin forward into, retraction, into protraction, and then chin all the way back, giving yourself a double chin into retraction. You're gonna go forwards and back. You're getting flexion of the spine, extension of the spine, and the back of the skull is moving on top of that top bone in the neck. So as you do this a few times, now we're gonna do this with rotations. So as you go forwards, your head is coming around. As it comes back towards that end range, you're coming back into retraction, and then all the way around through that entire motion. This is primarily isolating that very top bone in the neck underneath the back of the skull, and then we're gonna switch directions. So going forwards, and then all the way to the left, retracting as you come back. And then really noticing, again, side to side, is it different compared to one side or the other? And so as we go through life, we've had different injuries or postural stresses or repetitive patterns, you can develop compensations and in injuries or stuck points throughout your life. And so this is a great way to kind of get movement through there and just start to go through any ranges of motion that are stuck. If you notice that one side is more difficult compared to the other, then just hang out there for a little while. Go through that range of motion and start to loosen everything up. Awesome. So you went through flexion extension, lateral flexion, rotation, and protraction retraction with rotations. Now we're gonna stretch out the whole front and side part of your neck. So you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna put the back of it on your lower back. I wanna take a big breath into your chest and then bend your head the opposite way 
turn your chin that opposite way and then pull your shoulder back behind you. Oh, that's awesome. You're gonna feel a huge stretch onto this side. Take a big breath in here, raising up and pull that shoulder back a little bit more. You're stretching out the entire brachial plexus and all the muscles that attach to the front side of the neck. Coming back to neutral, left hand behind your lower back, big breath in your chest. Right ear to right shoulder, chin to right shoulder. Pull that elbow back towards the wall behind you. <sighs> Breathe out, hold that space. Anybody who has tingling or numbness going down into their arms, this is a great stretch for you as it opens up right where those nerves exit out. And you could do that side to side. Perfect. So that is our cervical range of motion routine. We highly recommend doing this anytime you feel achy or stiff, maybe you slept in a weird position, or also at the end of the day after you've been falling into bad posture patterns, okay? So we recommend doing this on a daily basis and also a little bit extra when you need it. My name is Dr. Jordan Fairley here at the Soros Chiropractic. I highly recommend that you pair this with a great chiropractor near you. If you need help finding one, feel free to reach out and also leave a comment on this video of how this has helped you. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you in some of our other videos.